Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about optimization of the game. And for that, we will look at a 3D platformer that Buildbox provided. Now, optimizing your game is very important because you can start and build out your game and it will work perfectly in your preview because you have some beastie computer or something. And when you decide to test it on your phone, you might get into the issue of it being laggy on your phone. Some of the things that you can do to speed up the game are not as difficult when you've built out the game, but others might take you a long time to redo. The first thing you can try when the game is lagging on your phone is disabling shadows on all of your assets. And you can go through every single object and disable that, but the easiest way to disable all shadows is to use a custom script. It's not difficult to do, so let's add a script and we'll show you how it's done. Let's go to edit. And to disable all shadows, all you have to do is in your init function, you can do this dot scene. There's a function that we can call. It's called set shadows enabled. We can pass in false and this will disable all shadows in our scene. Now I tested this platform on one of my devices, uh, Galaxy S6, and even after disabling shadow, the game is still lagging. It's better than with the shadows, but it's still lagging. And that is due to how much objects are used in the scene. So it's very important to keep in mind that although you have this infinite space where you can put all of your objects in, all of that will create a performance issue. And it's due because all your objects in your scene get created right away. So all of these objects that you see are actually in a game. So one way to fix that is try to use as little of objects as possible. So in places where you don't need the objects, you should remove it. For instance, in this platformer, if we look in the bottom, the back portion of this platform has these squares and we don't see them. So that's just extra objects that are getting drawn. You can go and remove all of those objects. So you guys get the idea there. Other than that, the dirt is built out using large blocks, which is good. That's what you should do is try to use as large of the blocks as you can to avoid extra vertices in your game. Now, the other thing is your objects. So if we take a look at this platform, we can see how much extra vertices this platform has because of that grass. It does look better when you use this and we get that shadow, but this is a performance issue because we have all these extra vertices that are unneeded. So how you can optimize this, instead of using all these vertices to create this grass look, is to use just a plane here instead of all these teeth. And in the texture, then you can use the alpha channel to make those parts transparent. That's one way you can do to still keep that grass looking the same, but performance wise, it would be better. And when you add all of these grass tiles together, we get a lot of extra vertices that are not necessary, especially the ones that are in the middle here that you can't even see if they have grass or not. So it's very easy to actually create an object and use the Billbox grid system to duplicate it. It makes an easy way to create your scene, but this is not optimized way of doing it. You're creating a bunch of extra vertices that are not necessary in the game. And that can also cause performance issue in your game. So one way to optimize this is you can remove all of the unnecessary grass tiles that are in the middle that you can't see the edges and then you can use one of the grass tiles and stretch it to where you want it to cover. And that, if you do the math, so before that we had one, two, three, four, five, six, six by three, and that's 18 tiles that we had. And now by stretching this, we have removed 18 tiles. And if you count all the vertices that were used in this tile, that is a lot of vertices that we just dropped. So these optimizations you can also do in other places. For instance, this platform right here, we can do the same thing here 
remove all the extra grass tiles. So that's some of the things you should look for. And then, so for details that are not as important in your game, for instance, like this grass object, that's also extra vertices that you are adding to your game. And it would be wise to use billboards instead of these objects. Because when you'll play this game on your phone, the difference won't be noticeable that much between if you're using an object or a billboard. But it will have a performance improvement. So keep that in mind. Now, let's talk about scenes. How you can use scenes to optimize this platform. So one way to use the scenes is to break up the sections and have the sections in different scenes. For instance, we have this one in one scene and have this block in another scene. Now, it won't make any difference in this setup because we only have two scenes and the second scene will be loaded with our first scene. So this is important when you're designing your game is to make sure to build your blocks in small chunks. So you have huge scenes that need to be loaded. Because if you imagine if we had another scene with this size, just imagine loading this much more of vertices and objects into our game. That will really slow it down. So make sure when you do level designs and if you're making scenes that you need to load, make them smaller so that you can use the scene drawn distance, which is available in the 3D world settings. So we can go to 3D world settings and we have this next scene threshold and delete scene threshold. We can use those values to determine how far away our player needs to be from our next scene for it to start drawing. And that will improve our performance since the game is not going to have any extra object in their memory that we don't need at the current moment. For instance, in this uh, template, when we're playing on a lower level, we don't see none of this top portion. But all of that is already in their memory. And that does have a performance issue. There's one issue that you have to keep in mind when you use scenes to load other parts of your game, and it is the deletion. So if we continue building our scenes in our vertical direction, when we get to our scene two and the delete scene threshold gets reached, our first scene will get deleted. So that means if we try to go back or if we fall off the platform and we expect to land on our scene one, the scene one won't be there anymore. And we hope that this will be addressed by Buildbox at one point, because I think having scenes regenerate when you're moving back is important for platformers and all of that. It doesn't make sense for infinite runners, but for platformer games, it's very important for the player to go back. And that's one of the issues with using scenes in platformers. So these are some of the things to look at when you're trying to optimize your game. And it's important to optimize your game from the start and keep in mind all the things that you do cause performance issues later on. You do have more power on your PC and most of the time it will work better in your preview. But when you test on device, that's when you might start seeing that some of the things are not working as you expected. So keep your games optimized and always test your games on actual device to make sure that you won't waste a whole bunch of time trying to create a scene and then later on figure out that what you spent 20 hours doing doesn't actually work on a phone. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe and we'll see you next time.